I was talking to one of my mentees last night. Let's get right to it. He was having some problems with his relative. He was questioning family. And then he talked about, we talked about manhood and fatherhood. Now I'm a man of words. So words mean something to me. In Arabic, Karib means those who are close to you, those who are relatives, those who are born into your family, those who have a kinship with you, those people who are near you. It doesn't mean that they're family. Oh, you got to listen to me this morning. The Quran talks about Ahlul Kitab, Ahlul Sunnah, Ahlul Jamaat. It talks about the people of community, people of family. Why, do, why are they family? Because they have common beliefs. They're going in a common direction. They're going, they have a common objective. They have a common like-mindedness. The Quran says, surely man is lost, except those who join in constancy, good works, and prayer. Oh, listen to me. Qarib, those who are relatives, they're close to you. They were born up in the family with you. They share DNA with you. They have chromosomes with you. It doesn't mean they are of like mind. It doesn't mean that they are good for you. It doesn't mean that you should spend the majority of your time taking advice from them and using them as your life directions. Because just because they're Qarib, just because they're relatives doesn't mean that they're relative to where you're going. Oh, I'm going to say that again. Just because they are relatives, it doesn't mean that they are relative to where you're going. Ahlul, family. Family means those people who have like ideas, those people who are like-minded, those people who have like goals, those people who are going in a like di in, in a, a direction that you're going, those people who fit your purpose, those people who fit in the disposition and the composition of who you are and where you're going. That's family. Hmm. The problem with human beings, we don't determine or we don't make a difference between the two. We don't understand that you are the sum total of the five people you hang around. If you hang around people who are Karib, who are just family, who are tearing you down, who are being negative, those people who are draining the life out of you, being parasitical, they're not family. They're Karib. They're relatives. But the people... Ahlul Kitab, the people who have a commonality, a common goal, a common direction, and a common purpose, those people are family because they're going to get you where you're going. Now, let's talk about this thing called Father. And I'll close here with this short devotion. <sighs> a father, you say, well, my family is God-fearing. My family is at peace. Yes, great. That's the first level of being a father. But a father can't keep his family secluded and not know what's going on in the surrounding area. A father has to understand who his children are accompanying. Accompanying. A father has to understand what's going on in the community, at the school board, and at the legislative level. Why? Because a father is a protector of his children's future and their interests. If you're just sitting at home talking about your father, you still horizontal. You have to be in the community changing mindsets, protecting your family based upon your direction. I hear so many fathers talking about what peace they have at home. Yes, great. Praise God. Hallelujah. Alhamdulillah. But if you're not in the community, 
If you're not making a difference, if you're not being a shining example of what excellence is and changing mindsets and laws to protect your children, hmm, maybe they're still fatherless. Boys masquerading as men. You see, boys dream dreams. Boys sit down at night and think about what's supposed to happen. But men and fathers are the change that they want to see. Men and fathers are leading out front. Men and fathers understand they have to take some bullets and consequences so their children can really live in peace outside the home that's already supposedly in peace. I'll sum up here. Karib, relatives, they are relative because they are of your DNA. Karib, relatives, they are close to you because of your DNA. But it doesn't mean that they're family if they're not going in the same direction. A family has a commonality, a common mindset, a common direction, a common ideology. That's family. Father. A father is not just a father in the home. The father actually encapsulates all that's in the community. A father is an example of what man should be. Father is in the community to change laws, change mindsets, and to father in nurturing the development for the future of his babies. I hope this lecture, short morning devotion, gives you some insight on relatives, family, and fatherhood, and faith. Peace and blessings be upon you. Let's go out and be family and fathers to our communities. Woo! Have a great day.